channel, my name is Erin Scott and today's video I thought I would do for all of my subscribers who are in the Northern Hemisphere. So in Australia here we are actually going into summer which I am super excited for but I woke up this morning and I, I don't know why I just felt really inspired to do something with a dark lip and some smoky eyes and stuff like that. So I thought I would film a tutorial, a day to night makeup look for winter slash fall because I think you guys over in the northern hemisphere call it fall we call it winter here but all the same thing so yeah I guess if you guys would like to see my daytime look and then how I transformed it into this then just keep watching so I'm going to start off by using primer I'm going to be using two different primers today the first one is the professional by benefit cosmetics and the next one is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. The reason I'm using both of these together is because this one helps to minimize pores and fine lines and stuff like that, creating like a really flawless base. And this one here just makes your foundation sit really, really nicely and last all day long as well. So being a day to night makeup tutorial, obviously we want our foundation to last through to the night, to the end of the night, and yeah, this will help do that. So I'm going to start off by applying my professional first and I'm just going to focus that mainly on the T-zone of my face. And next up going in with my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, I'm just going to pop that pretty much all over the rest of my face. And the foundation that I'm going to use today is my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. In fall slash winter, I really like to have a dewy, like radiant glow in my skin. I find that in winter my skin gets really, really dry. So it's nice to have something on top of it to make it look radiant and glowy and moisturized and all of that. So that's why I'm using this Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation. And I'm just going to apply that using my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki Brush. So I'm doing a pretty heavy coverage um, base for day and night just because it's easier to make it high coverage now than to go back and layer on base products when you want to um, do your night makeup. So that's why I'm doing it now because otherwise if we try and layer it up later on then it can actually look quite cakey. And for concealer today, I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Vanilla. And I'm just going to use this under my eyes and in the center of my face to highlight that a little bit as well. I'm getting very, very low on this. I really need to repurchase it. Okay, well, I've run out of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, so for my T-zone and the center of my face to highlight that, I'm just going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Fair. And I'm just going to blend all of that in using the same brush that I used for my foundation, and that's the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki Brush. That NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and Maybelline Fit Me Concealer are really, really similar products. Um, I would actually say that the Maybelline is a cheaper alternative for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So if you guys are wanting a concealer but aren't wanting to spend as much as what the NARS Creamy Concealer is, then definitely try out the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers because they are amazing and they have such a wide range of colors as well, which is like super, super good. I'd say that the NARS formula is a little bit thicker and a little bit creamier, whereas the Maybelline formula is a bit runnier, but I mean, they both have really, really decent coverage and yeah, I'd say they're pretty much very similar. And to set my under eye area in place, I'm going to use my Rimmel London Stay Matte Translucent Powder. And I'm using my Sigma Large Fluff E50 brush for that. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NC20. And I'm just using that on a large powder brush. So this powder also adds a little bit more coverage, which is really great as well, because 
We want it to last all day and night. I'm going to keep the rest of my face quite natural for the daytime look. So I'm not going to contour or do anything crazy like that, but I will just warm up my skin a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Sculpt Contouring Palette in light to medium, and I'm going to be using the contouring shade here just to warm up my cheekbones and my forehead a little bit. And the brush that I'm using is my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. So I'm not being super precise, I'm literally just using this colour to just warm up my face. And I'm just going to pop a little bit down my neck as well. So for blush, again, I'm just going to keep it really light. And I'm just going to use this Sigma Powder Blush in the colour Peaceful. It's just a really, really dull pink shade. So it's not going to add much colour, but it's just going to define my cheekbones slightly. This blush has also got a little bit of a shimmer in it as well. So it's really, really helping with adding the glow into my skin. So I'm not going to add any highlighter for the daytime look just because that blush that I've used has given me the glow like I said and I don't want to overdo it because I want to keep this quite natural. So I'm going to start off with eyes now and to prime my eyelids I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20 and I'm just using my fingers to blend that in. I'm taking it right up to my brows as well and just to set that product in place I'm just going back in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and the same brush which is the large fluff E50 brush and I'm just going to pat that down and set it just to get rid of that tackiness so that when we pop the eyeshadow over the top it's easier to blend. Okay so for my eyes today I'm going to be using the Stila In The Light eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use this for my daytime and nighttime look so um, yeah. But look what happened to it. I don't know if you can see but the glass mirror inside smashed. And I had to do a quick recovery because obviously I don't want to get glass in the eyeshadows because that is a massive, massive hazard. But I've looked over it at least a hundred times and I cannot see any glass or anything like that. So the eyeshadows are still good. Whew. Okay, so first up I'm going in with the colour Bliss. And I'm going to use this on a tapered blending E35 brush and just pop it in my crease to define my crease a little bit. And next up I'm taking the colour Bubbly, which is just this beautiful gold shimmery colour here. And I'm using that on my Sigma Short Shader E20 brush. I'm just going to focus this all over the eyelid. going to bring that into my inner corner as well. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take the colour Bliss, which is the same colour that I used in my crease, and I'm taking that on my Sigma Buff and Blend E39 brush, and I'm literally just going to buff that into my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to brighten up my lower waterline using this Sigma, it's actually a brow highlighting pencil. It's got two ends, it's got like a really shimmery end and then a really like pinky nude coloured um, pencil on one end. So I'm just going to use that on my lower lash line to highlight and brighten that area. And now I'm just going to cut my lashes and add some mascara. The mascara that I'm going to use is this Pony Cosmetics White Night Mascara. For my brows, I'm keeping it really, really natural for the daytime look, so I'm just going to use my Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Gel in the colour Medium Brown. I'm just going to lightly coat my brows with that. And for my lips for daytime, I'm just going with a darker nude colour, and I'm going to be using Gerard Cosmetics 1995 Lipstick. And that is my finished daytime makeup look for winter slash fall. 
So I've obviously gone with the darker nude lip because you can get away with wearing darker colors in winter, but I still think it's a really natural, nice color for the daytime as well. So yeah, this is my daytime look. So now for my nighttime look, I'm going to start off by removing the lipstick and also the eyeliner on my waterline. I'm going to do that using a cotton bud. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to contour my face. So I'm going to use my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics on my Sigma Small Contour F05 brush. And I'm going to contour my cheekbones. And I'm also just going to use that Hoola Bronzer on my Real Techniques Multitask brush. And I'm just going to use it to warm up my forehead as well. I'm going to pop a darker blush on now. This is the Stefan Cheek Blush in the color Coral. It is not a coral color at all. And I'm going to use that on my Sigma Powder Slash Blush F10 brush. And I'm just going to go over that with my large powder brush just to kind of blend it in so it's not so harsh. And for highlighter today, I'm using my NARS Albatross. I'm just going to place that on the tops of my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, nose, You'll see. I'm using that on my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. Now I'm just going to fill in my brows with a little bit of powder just to define them a little bit more. And I'm using my Pony Cosmetics Brow Powder in the shade number two, Palomino. Now for my eyes, I'm going to make them a bit darkier and a bit smokier as well. So I'm going to go in with the color Gilded Gold and I'm going to place that all over my eyelid. I'm then taking a mix between the colors Sunset and Bliss on my Sigma Blending E25 brush and I'm going to blend that into my crease. Now taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend those colors a little bit more just so that they are nice and seamless. Now I'm just going to go over the lid again and place some more of that gilded gold color on there just because when we were blending we blended some of it away so I'm just building it up a little bit more. Then taking the colors Bliss and Sunset again mixed together I'm going to just blend them into my lower lash line. I'm going to kind of connect it up to the outer corner as well just to keep it all blended together. Then taking a bit of that bubbly color, which is the gold that we used on the lid for the daytime look, I'm just going to pack that onto the inner corner. There is still a little bit left on there from the daytime look as well. I'm going to take some of that on my finger as well and just place it right on the center of my lid. And then just taking the same brush that we were using before with the Gilded Gold. I'm not putting any extra color on it, but I'm just going to use that to blend out the edges of that bubbly that we put on the center of the lid just then. Then taking a Sigma Angled Brow E75 brush, I'm going to pick up some of this matte black color here. This is obviously, as it says, for brows, but I'm going to use it to create a kind of like a smoky liner type look. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna wing it out yet. I'm just going to wing it and see how it goes. Get it? 
Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to wing out the eyeliner. I'm just going to literally keep it on the, kind of like the outer half of my eye, just to define and make it look like my lashes have a lot more volume. I'm also going to take a little bit of that and place it on the outer corner of my lower lash line as well. And then just taking my Sigma Buff and Blend E39 brush, just to smoke that out a little bit. Then taking my Stila eyeliner, which actually comes out of the um, Stila palette that I'm using. And this is a, just kind of like a charcoal-y color. I'm just going to pop that in my waterline. Now I'm just going to go over my lashes again and coat them with some more mascara. I'm going to be putting falsies on, so I'm going to just do like one extra coat over my top lashes and then do a couple of extra coats on my lower lashes to really make them pop. And the lashes that I'm going to put on today are the Ardell Glamour 105 lashes. And for my lips, I'm going to line them using my MAC lip liner in the color Magenta. And for lipstick, I'm using MAC Rebel. Okay, so I'm going to tightline my waterline using this Stila eyeliner again, and I'm doing this to my upper waterline this time. I'm then going to highlight my brow bone using the Sigma Brow Highlighting Pencil. I'm using the Gold Shimmer Side. And I'm just going to highlight my under eye area a little bit more using my Bare Minerals Concealer Powder in the shade Well Rested. And that is the finished nighttime makeup look. So it is really, really easy to kind of transform your day look into your night look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel as well. I would love that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.